Hare Krishna. Self acceptance is an often talked about topic which has to be understood very carefully. That means that how do we accept ourselves? If I don't accept myself, then I am my own only resource, my, my fundamental resource, the resource which is necessary for using any other resources that I have. So we need to accept ourselves. But to think that I am perfect the way I am, see, I am good enough the way I am. That to think that I am not good enough uh, for doing anything in my life, that is negativity, that is low self-esteem. That is, leads to depression and can lead even to suicidal thoughts. So we shouldn't think that I am not good enough for anything. Yes, I am good enough for facing what challenges face me at right now. And by God's grace, I can become better. So self-acceptance means that we don't keep wasting our emotional energy in beating ourselves down for things that are not changeable for us. But at the same time, self-acceptance doesn't mean that we say I am perfect as I am and we don't try to improve ourselves at all. So self-acceptance should open the door to self-improvement, not close that door. So what that means is if we are in a maze or we are in a place with multiple doors and we have got taken, we have taken several long turn, wrong turns and have come to a particular place, then okay, I am at this place, how can I move forward? So I have to have self-acceptance in terms of I'm at this place. But if I think I'm at this place, let me just become comfortable at this place. There's no need for me to go anywhere else. Then that is unhealthy. So uh, self-acceptance is where I am. Now let me look where the door is and where I can go out. So that is, it should open the door to self-transformation. And this dynamism is seen in the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna first tells Arjun, do not reject your self. That means do not reject the nature with which you have been born. So he says in 18.59 and 60, Atachet tamahankaram nashoshyasi vinangshasi mithyaisha vyavasayaste prakriti styamni yokshati And the next verse says, Swabhava jena kaunteya nibaddha svena karmana kartum nechasi and mohat karishasya vashopitat So all of us are bound by our nature. So for Arjun to think that I will not accept myself as a Kshatriya and I will act as a Brahmana, that is not going to be sustainable for him. So he has to have the self-acceptance. And so do we, based on our particular psychophysical nature, we understand this is how I am. But uh, Krishna doesn't just say this is how you are and you stay as you are. He says that we surrender to him and by surrendering to him we get the guidance by which we can improve ourselves better. So two verses later it says, Tameva Sharanam Gacha Sarvabhave Bharata Prasadat param shantim sthanam pyapsyatrasyatrasam shashvatam That we will attain the eternal destination if we surrender to the Supreme. Tam eva sharanam gacha Surrender to that transcendental Lord and by that we will grow. So we want to accept ourselves so that we can open the door to spiritual connection, to connection with Krishna and that, by that connection we will get purified will get elevated, the inner struggle will cease and we will attain a lasting destination. So recognizing self-acceptance as an essential thing because we are parts of God, even if we are conditioned, and then using that self-acceptance to channel our energy toward that door which is open and to pursue enthusiastically the path of self-improvement, that is the best way to live with ourselves. Thank you. Hare Krishna.